No one deserves to be hungry. That's our motto. No one deserves to be hungry. Our mission is to provide food to anyone in the state that needs it. Down this way, we have Federal Food for Indian Reservations, FDPIR. Every month, I ship out 10 orders to different villages around the state. We have the Emergency Food Program, DEFAP, behind us. That's uh, another food program that we provide to all kinds of different communities. We have a summer food program for kids who are out of school. We ship 100,000 meals all over the state to feed kids when they're out for the summer. Well, we're partnered with 300 agencies around the state. Boys and Girls Club, Catholic Social Services, Lutheran Social Services. As the hub for all those groups, we bring those groups together. Those groups are required to cooperate with each other, to cooperate with us. So just by our very existence, we're bringing people together. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of people trying to raise families on minimum wage jobs. Rents are high in Anchorage. With a high rent, people have choices. Do I pay medical bills or do I buy food? Do I pay rent or do I buy food? So it, it, it can be anybody. Old retired people, struggling young families, people in the military, all kinds of people get food from us. Uh, the, the need is growing. There'll always be a, re a, a food bank of Alaska, right? There'll always be a need, and the numbers are going to keep growing. As long as the economic situation is the way it is, if it gets worse, that's more people we'll have to feed. Every Thanksgiving and every Christmas, we give out 10,000 turkeys with all the trimmings, free, to whoever comes and gets them. And one of my responsibilities is, is I work with the Lutheran group handing out turkeys. I've had many experiences where an old grandmother pulling a little sled with two or three little kids will come up to me and I'll be required to uh, give them food. They wouldn't got, have gotten a meal if we hadn't given it to them. They wouldn't have a Thanksgiving. They wouldn't have a Christmas. That's the kind of stuff that affects me. The old people and the children, those are the ones that need to be fed.